these three bags of coffee grounds seen down here was produced by one local cafe in one day. This amount of waste is incredible and worldwide 18 million tonnes of coffee grounds are wasted every year. That's the equivalent weight to 51 jumbo jets every single day. And here at Blossom we thought we'd do something about it and that's why we came up with our idea. Good afternoon. We're from Taradell High School and our business is Blossom. Here at Blossom we produce a natural pot, uh, annual pot plant fertiliser. What makes us unique from other competitors is that we use waste products from the hospitality industry such as used coffee grounds and crushed eggshells in our powdered format. This allows your plants to thrive. As teenagers, we are part of the global trend of having pot plants in your bedroom. And our, with our business idea, we thought we'd utilize this. Here at Blossom, we value the environment and the clean green country that we live in. So with our product, we reduce landfill waste as well as, uh, reduce landfill waste as well as creating green living spaces for New Zealanders to live in. Our goals and visions are to our goals and visions are to create a safe and healthy, mess-free fertilizer for everyone to use in New Zealand. So you're probably wondering how did five five teenage guys come up with the name Blossom? Um, well, we started off going there's five of us, five guys. So we went let's come up with the name Five Guys. But it was taken. So we're like, all right, we'll keep looking. We're like flower buds, we're like, we're all good buds, so five buds. But you Google five buds on the internet and it comes up with a different kind of bud. <laughs> so we settle with Blossom. <laughs> yeah, our target market is people from the age of 30 to 60, who we believe could possibly be the uh, parents of the TikTok generation. We concluded this from during validation, where we went and surveyed people in person at my team and through online surveying, through Facebook groups. To promote our, oh wait, which we also found out through the surveys that people want an easy to use and single use packet. To promote this, we will be using our Instagram and our Facebook as our two main sources, as we believe the age demographic really shine in these ones. We have also created a website where we'll be doing most of our selling through as we are able to promote our selling point, our website, through our Instagram and our Facebook. Our suppliers are you. The waste products from the hospitality industry come from you guys when you go to a cafe to have a coffee. So we are proud to be working with a local business, Drop Shop Cafe, where we use their leftover eggshells that would otherwise go to waste. As well as this, we are working with Taradell High School to use uh, to source other ingredients such as eggshells. So our production process is we pick up the used eggshell, uh, sorry, the used co coffee grounds from Drop Shop Cafe. Step two, they, uh, they get head over to the sales director's house where they get dried <laughs> in the garage <laughs> and grind them. Step three, they are ground up into a fine powder. Yeah. <laughs> we use our special ratio of waste products and then they get put into our packets with about five grams per packet. They then get put into our convenient little paper triangles that our CEO makes and stamped with our custom stamp. They are filled with our fertiliser and then put into our little bags and decorated with our Blossom logo. And then they are sold. <laughs> now, um, the boring part, the numbers. <laughs> um, so our goal 
is to sell 100 units on our first month of production and sales July. We will do this by selling retail and online on our store, as shown before. If you direct yourself to the middle of the booklet, we have a cost breakdown on a table there. The units cost 55 cents to make, and we'll be selling them at a price of $5. So out of our 100 unit batch, we'll need to sell 11 to break even. This will make us sell, uh, gain nine times more profit than our original investment that we put in at the start. All right, thank you. We'd love to hear questions. Awesome. If you want to open these up, we can, here's the little sachet. You can just rip the corner off and pour it into your pot plant. Five grams, which is just that much. And then, <laughs> then in the pack, there's eight. There's eight sachets in the pack, and a little blurb on the back. Yeah. Sorry, how did you find out coffee grounds empty? Shelf? Um, okay. So there's, there's also we've also got naturally occurring salts in there, which provide eighty other trace elements. Um, but the coffee grounds provide nitrogen, and the eggshells provide calcium into the soil, and calcium is really good for pH levels in the soil because it helps level the pH. <laughs> yeah. um, we decided on it because first we knew this much coffee waste is just ridiculous, so we wanted to do something with coffee, and we noticed people use it on their gardens outdoors at home, but it's very messy and smelly, but by drying it and refining it, then we can allow it for indoor pot plants. Yeah. Is it specifically targeting the smaller garden each one than the yeah. We're targeting indoor pot mm -hmm. plants and mm -hmm. it's just an easy to use mess free sachet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well I'm in your target market because <laughs> I am thirty six to sixty. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm also a plant mum. I've got many, many plants. Um, so I guess that's what my notes said, um, you outlined the environmental benefits really well, but you have now just outlined the plant benefits, but you didn't within the pitch. And I really wanted to hear well, what's this going to do for my plant, because I would buy it. Um, the other thing I was going to suggest is just with your promotion, um, I'm not sure if you're aware, there's heaps of plant groups on Facebook and stuff now, so maybe that would be a good channel. Um, um. That's where we sent the surveys out to awesome. lots of it. Yeah, cool. Yeah, well yeah. done. Yeah, so Liz has got a really good point there on marketing. Market it out to plants. Mm -hmm. um, and the benefits of, of that. The fact that it's a fertiliser and a special product. But, oh, I don't know how to put this in boy terms. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee grinder, which is quite fitting. <laughs> it's an old coffee grinder that we had. Yeah, but not one. Coffee. Maybe for the used coffee. <laughs> so what about the, the blossom? Oh, so yes, our, our logo. So when designing the logo, we took inspiration with the six petals on the flower. The reason it's six is because in Greek mythology, Six is sort of love, and it shows the love for the environment that we have, and it's just our passion for it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. All right, you won here. <laughs> <laughs> How long does the drying process take? It was a long time, but it was probably five days until it was drying off, and then I put it onto thinner trays and stuck it in front of my fireplace. Then my house smelled. <laughs> <laughs> Well, coffee's not a bad smell, at least it's 
stop yeah. like professional <laughs> fertilizers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, do you have much competition in this market? We do have competition in this market, but uh, the main competition are generally liquids and very chemical fills. So with this, we are going for more. You know, can keep it in your bedroom. It looks good and it's really mess free and easy to use. Any more questions? Oh no, what we've been trouble.